I'm Ryan Van Buderoyne, drummer of A Monolith, and I also played with Devin Townsend Project for many years as well. What you just heard me playing there was a single parrot at all. Basically, rudiment number five out of stick control. So I took stick control and made the right hand a kick drum, and then the left hand snare drum. We're gonna go deeper into this. I'm gonna break it down for you right now, and I'll show you all how this works. What I was doing there was rudiment number one in stick control. Right, left, right, left, right, left. All I'm doing is an eighth note pattern on my hi-hats and between my kick and snare. It's a pretty simplistic beat to start with, but if you look at the rest of the page, some of my favorites are number six, number eight, number 24 in stick control, you get some really, really interesting beats. That's the first step of this exercise, just getting comfortable with actually playing the eighth note pattern between your kick and snare and on your hi-hats. Again, guys, start at 60 BPM and build it up to whatever speed you want. I tell all my students to learn it up to 150 BPM before we move on to the next page. So now you understand step number one. Let's do something different and do this in a paradiddle, single paradiddle, at 60 BPM. So in step number two, we're gonna be using the ride cymbal. And what we're gonna do is quarter notes as opposed to eighth notes, okay? Now one way that you always know you're going to be doing this exercise correctly is when you're playing it with a click track, your ride will always match the click track. I always tell my drum students this, if you're playing off the click, you know that you're not doing the exercise right. Now let's move on to rudiment number five, the paradiddle at 60 BPM. So let's speed this up a little bit. We're gonna play it with hollow now. And again, this is a single paradiddle with quarter notes on the ride. So for step three, we're gonna add some improvisation. How are we improvising? As you guys saw, a drum fill. So we'll play eighth notes on the hi-hat for the first pattern. I do a drum fill for a measure of four, and then I go into my ride cymbal with the quarter notes as opposed to the eighth notes. And then we're not finished yet. We do another improvised drum fill back to the hi-hats. Let's check out a paradiddle at 60 BPM with some fills.
Improvisation is always a great thing. Make it your own. I always say that to my students. Do the same. Let's give this a shot. This is hollow with the single paradiddle going from the hat, drum fill, into the ride quarter notes, drum fill. There it is. Wow. So there's all three steps of this exercise. Now what I'm gonna do is improvise various rudiments from stick control and adapt it to the song Hollow in that midsection that we just played last and show you what you can do with this. Have fun with it, guys. The big thing here is experimenting with it, improvising, and most of all, having fun. So let's give it a shot. So there you have it, a bunch of cool exercises that you can learn based off the book Stick Control. If you guys learned something and you really enjoyed it, please like, subscribe, and comment below. Let me know what you think about it. Enjoy, have fun.